Hello from Chinichu.com, this is Mark Josie. Uh, today I would like to do another video on the uh, APS CAM870 shotgun. Now today um, I, I have my shotgun in a little, not little, but in a very cool scabbard. So we can unbuckle that and pull the thing out. Just to remind you guys, this is an airsoft uh, CO2 shotgun by uh, APS. And this, and this is shell ejecting. So you can see all my shells right here. So I have um, this belt here with six, uh, sorry, no, not six, 56 shells, okay? And beside that, we got the gun. Now, what, it, what this video is about is that I'm going to load up a lot of shells with 0.68 cal um, rubber rounds. These are rubber balls. Okay, and as my other video already said, um, you can load rubber balls into these shells and it will work. Now to demonstrate, I will do a few um, reloading <clears throat> in front of the camera, and then after that, I'll just do them all uh, off camera, and then when I'm done, you'll see the sh uh, shooting result. Okay, so. The FPS with uh, rope around is about uh, 260 FPS or so with this gun, so that's pretty good for a paintball marker. <clears throat> now, with 12 grams CO2, this is the charger, okay? With 12 grams CO2, you only get about, uh, say, 20 shots per fill, meaning that uh, 24 grams is about 20, 20 shots, so that's not a lot of shots. Pull the thing out, we don't need it. Now what we need is this adapter. This is from 88 grams CO2 disposable, one time use only CO2, to a paintball uh, tank head. So basically you screw this on. You can get this adapter from Amazon, which is where I got it, and screw this on. Make sure that your valve is uh, loosened up and when, when it's inside, tighten the valve. The Sign knob, tighten that, make sure it's not leaking. Okay, now we'll get a Walther uh, brand, which is made by Umarex, uh CO2. This is 88 gram CO2. I suggest you guys to use Walther brand or uh, Liz, Liz, L-I-S-S. This brand here makes CO2 for food and breakfasts, so it's very clean. The Crossman air source, uh, air source one is very dirty, so not so good. So put some Pelgan oil on it. Okay, I have some on the surface, so just rub it on. And then what you do is basically just screw the thing on, and we can use 88 grams CO2. So I will tell you how many shells I can fill with one 88 gram. Okay, this is kind of okay. This is my first time using it, so uh, I will tell you how how good it is. Okay, no leaks. Good. Oof. Okay, so I I heard a little bit of hissing sound, and then it stopped. So basically, that the CO2 um, punctured and go up into here, and the CO2 didn't get cold or anything, so it's pretty good. Now that's how it looks like. Okay. You can screw in the uh, bulk fill CO2 if you like, but I don't have any bulk fill here, so, and I don't like bulk fill because I need to uh, go to a shop, a paintball shop to fill that up, so that's not good. Now, um, this is the belt. You may think, oh, you have all the shells loaded into the belt. So now how do you load it? Well, it's easy. You start by, you see this is the end where you can see uh, here's the start and the end. Okay, we'll start from one side and then we plug the shells in while the shells is in the belt. Okay, so loosen the thing up. I'll demonstrate this. Okay, we have to, okay. it's kind of heavy. Usually if, if you do this while you're uh, sitting, it's way easier. But if you're not sitting, it's kind of hard. Okay, there we go. Got it. 
Okay, tighten up. Okay, you see? You can actually use it while the shells are on the belt. Okay, I'll try to demonstrate it right here. So one, two, three. Ah, there we go. Got it. Unscrew. One thing I find that when the shells are inside the belt, it's very, very secured. And uh, it actually does prevent the shells from leaking and bursting out outward. So that's pretty good. Now, just for a little marking, um, I will put a piece of tape on here just to mark that this is my first starting side and so I know how many count I have to count. Okay, so just to mark it right here. Okay, so now the first shells is filled with gas and then what I do is I take my rubber round, okay, one rubber round and then I plug it in like this. Okay, now I see it's filled with rubber round. And then I just go to the next shell and then keep filling all the way until I'm ended. And then here is 56 uh, rounds. So let's see if I can fill the whole belt with this 88 gram. So that is a uh, 56 round. And I'll, I will start to fast forward the tracks. So I'll do it in front of the camera, but I'll stop fast forward. And later on, you can see how long it takes for me to do everything. So yeah, okay. Okay guys, gonna stop a bit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine shows. <laughs> Not even ten. Oh my. This is a torture. Now more rubber balls. It's very, very torturing to inst uh, to to inject the gas with that many shows. Um, what I find that it, the problem is the show the belt. It's super heavy, and that's the problem. Um, it's way too heavy. It will be helpful if you do it on a table and and not while holding the whole belt in your hand. But somehow the weight does put a bit of a effort into helping uh, the CO2 from leaking. So far I've been doing over 20 shows I think and it's still not showing me any sign of leaking or anything weird going on. Well uh, if I do it with the shows in hand and not on the belt, some of them will act funny. So that's one thing I realized. Okay, so yeah. Basically, I filled up that many shells so far. Okay, and oh, from the end here, I find that one shell may be acting weird. Okay, like this. Okay guys, seriously, I have to say that I've got to stop here because the, um, the the shells okay the shells are fine, um, but I am not <laughs> holding it and charging it with the 88 gram CO2. Well, up to 20 something shells, I'm still very okay with the gas, but I need to sit down and do it. <laughs> if I don't, I think I'm going to really. <laughs> blackout or something <laughs> the head is getting numb okay and it's very 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 hard to do so right now I'll just uh, shut the camera and I'll sit on the ground and do it so try my best to finish it off with, with uh, 56 shows if I can and then we'll bring it on to over there and shoot it so see you at the range okay guys so now we loaded up all the shells I can load and in this belt, <laughs> 56 shells uh, with 188 grams CO2. I have noticed that uh, for my last few shells, I'm not having enough gas or enough pressure. So when I pop it back up, the gas, uh, the sound that 
uh, comes out from the gas popping is weaker, and so I know that the pressure is not enough to power up the shots. But well, I still did a few of those low power shots anyway, and then I have about four or three here that's not filled up. So let you let me let you see the belt, okay? So basically, you can see my belt and the one that I haven't finished right here, the three, okay? And the other ones are all loaded up, okay? The uh, back, you can take a look. Some of them, after loading, some of them have uh, flaws somehow. Um, yeah, with the firing pin sticking out too much. Some of them, you can see the firing pin is sticking in too much. So I'm not sure if that will affect the performance, but just like this one, it's sticking out too much. And I won't load that into the shotgun uh, inside the magazine. So for the safety purpose today, I'll be having a box beside me while I shoot, and then I'll load it like one, and then shoot, and then dump it into here, and then shoot and dump. So just to be sure that I'm not gonna jam anything inside the magazine, okay? Right now we can enjoy the shooting session right there using 0.68 cal rubber balls, and I'll keep shooting until I'm out uh, into that little shoot and see target. So I'll be shooting from 16 feet or so, so let's take a look. Okay guys, so this is our target, and I will start from the uh, beginning of my belt so just pulling out one shell, it feels so good in hand. And I, I have to say that the shells actually do um, feel very natural to uh, load and hold. Okay, so let's go. Unsafe. Wow. The uh, CO2 powered up the shell very well. By the way, I'm not going to test the accuracy, so I'm just going to jump shot into this target. But it's actually very loud and very hard kicking. It's louder than my 12 gram CO2. You can see it's super loud. Woo. Just a sec, my shot, my uh, box just fell. Oops, okay, just a minute. Okay guys, uh, let me have my box ready. Okay, never mind. Okay, so I'm on my four shelves, guys. This one, the firing pin is a bit sticking out, so oh, it still works fine, very well. This one, not bad. Should work. Nice. The shot is very loud, extremely cool, extremely loud, and I just dropped the shell. Damn. This one, the um, firing, the firing thing, the primer spot is a bit too uh, much in inside, but it still works. So my seventh round. Surprise! Flawless! Okay, this one looks fine. Man, this thing feels so real when you load it like shell by shell. It feels so good. Pulling the shells out from the belt is also very easy. It's no hassle, it just slide out. I can even hear the rubber around bang inside and it's so loud okay after this i have this i have to really stop shooting or else people will complain about the noise okay pretty good still flawless eh every round every shell works fine every shell is working extremely fine and just to remind, oh, this one is the one that have the um, the primer spot, the firing pin thing sticking out. So it still works. Woo! Surprise! I thought this one won't work. So that's a good bonus. 
I thought that it won't work, so it's pretty good. So far, all my shows are hitting hard and loud, and all of them are working fine. Look at that. And it's kicking very loud, like very loud, let me tell you. Okay, this is a weak shot somehow. Maybe uh, just a shell problem. Okay, strong again. So one weak shot after all. Not so bad, eh? And I can just slide my belt and keep picking out shells to use. I'm trying to fill up that black hole, you guys know that? I'm not trying to be precise, but I'm gonna try to shoot everywhere that I can. Pretty good, still going strong. Wow. That the, the shotgun is getting louder and louder somehow. Weird, eh? It's louder than with 12 gram steel too. And I'm not getting any single uh, hang fire situation here. So that, that's pretty good. Very nice. All the shells are working fine. None of them failed to fire. Only one of them gave me a weak shot. And I'm very satisfied with that. Because with the 12 grams, you keep on having those like oops and then the shot's not not powerful or it's not firing hang fire all those shit happens with this 88 gram none wow it's getting so loud <laughs> okay guys that's a lot of ammo My target! Oh no! Damn. Okay guys, uh, time to change target maybe? <laughs> Too crazy. Okay, let's ch change to my target. So, change my target. Good. What this is, is um, basically I'm just shooting at a paper plate and a shoot and see target. So, so that you can see properly. Without this, you cannot see it on the camera. So, not, not that you cannot see, but it's hard to see. So let's keep shooting. It's kind of weird without uh, shells on one end and then with shells on another end. But anyway, whoa, almost bows out. I feel like a Canadian redneck right now, eh? <laughs> Some of you will wonder, why don't you buy a real shotgun? Well, with a real shotgun, you cannot shoot at home. Even with this, it sounds very loud already. So imagine, if you have a real firearm, can you shoot at home? I don't think so. Right? So you gotta drive all the way to the range to shoot it? That's not my style. Okay, guys, keep shooting. Still going strong. Wow, all the shots are, are really good. I must say that it it actually do uh, function way, way, way better than with the 12 gram steel too. And you know what guys, my belt is getting loose because this, uh, the shells are out. I'm near the end, I think. Okay. It's getting time to load and shoot too. Trying to shoot a bit lower just to uh, not let the rubber round bounce around. Okay. It's still going very strong. It's still very loud, very strong, hard kicking. No problem so far. I like it. Okay, I can feel that this shot shows a little bit decrease in uh, in power because of the sound. Uh, okay, 
it. This one could be a hang fire, just to be sure, we'll have it whole. Eject. Okay, one shell failed to fire. I'll load this in the second time and see if it works. Okay, it's just done. So it must have leaked. One shell failed, okay? One out of so many. Even with a real shotgun, you will have kind of failure with shells too. Now it's going strong again. So, it's pretty realistic actually. Okay, keep going. Wow, today's session is kind of long. And when I shoot, the whole trap shakes. That's why it's kind of so loud because the impact of this uh, paintball thingy, the rubber round is so big. Okay, keep going. You know what? I am getting tired and the gun is not. It's tiring to load the shells and it's also tiring to shoot the shells right now. Wow. The sound, the sound from the, sh uh, the trap shaking is amazing. Okay. We're near the end. Near. Not the end yet. Oosh. Okay, let's load this up. Okay, I think we killed this dish already. Let's shoot a bit to the left. I have about six shells left. Finish this thing off. I want to make this fly. Almost. Okay. I have three shells left. What can I do? Eh? I want to kill it. Okay, I'm on my last uh, three rounds, and it's still going loud, strong, and such. See, it's still very strong. Okay, last round. Done. Okay guys, now I'm out uh, and it's time to take a look at our <laughs> target and also at me. So let's go to the target. I know you guys want to see it. Okay, so we shot two um, dish of the uh, target. It's a lot of impact. My uh, Even my cans fell down uh, from the shaking, so wow. Look at that. Yeah, you don't want the these rub arounds on your friends, eh? I was shooting about uh, 53 shots. Whew, that is tiring. So let's take a look inside. Basically, I used the trap here with the duct seal. And you can basically take all the balls, sweep it up, and wash it and reuse them. So, yeah, some of these rounds are all over the place right now. They bounced out and so on. So, okay. Whew. Okay, everyone. <laughs> As you can see, my uh, shells, my belt is all emptied. See? It's all emptied. Rotating, keep rotating. 
until you reach the end. Okay, there we go. The three shows that isn't charged. Okay. <laughs> Very fun session, eh, guys? So as you can see, a uh, 88 gram CO2 cartridge can power up up to 56 if you want to use the last three shots, 56 shells, and maybe a bit more if you're careful. Because while I'm charging, uh, two or three shells were kind of leaky, and I have to rotate the uh, the shells body to adjust it, and then it doesn't leak. So a little bit of gas wasted there, but it's fine. I get one very mega epic ses uh, session. So it's so tiring to just load it up, and it's so tiring to plug and shoot. So actually, it's quite fun. But um, yeah, so there you go, you get it. <laughs> 88 grams CO2 is really good and uh, it gives powerful shots and also the shots are very consistent and as you can see, very powerful. Compared to the 12 grams CO2, 88 gram is really good but it's a bit more pricey to play. So thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe and like. Bye-bye.